Hi, I'm Kelsey with the Tigard Police Department, and this is our video newsletter taking a look back at February. And it has been busy. As Chief McAlpine told City Council recently, we have seen an uptick in certain crimes like stolen cars, thefts, and we are seeing a number of stolen guns. These were all recovered in one week, one from a routine traffic stop and the others from shoplifting suspects. You can see that um, there's nothing routine in our contacts when we're, um, you know, making contact with individuals for what we would consider maybe even misdemeanor crimes. Uh, people seem to be arming themselves and most of them are stolen guns. And if you want to see the crime data for yourself, it's available online. Just search Tiger Police Transparency page. And on February 22nd, Chief McAlpine held a virtual chat with the community for the first time in a year and a half. The live Q&A also featured two members of the Public Safety Advisory Board. You can find that full hour-long conversation on the Tigard Police YouTube channel. If you want to get an inside look at policing in Tigard and learn more about what we do and how we serve this community, we invite you to register for the Spring Community Academy. It's a great opportunity to learn about everything from hiring and training to investigations and specialty units. It will be held at Tigard Police on Wednesday evenings in April and May. You can register for free online at tigard-or.gov slash community academy. Taking a look at the numbers, in February we responded to 3,031 calls for service. In this short month, that's an average of 108 every day. And finally, a big thank you to the Tiger Breakfast Rotary Club for raising more than $1,600 for our canine program through last summer's virtual canine 5K. We appreciate the support of everyone who donated. And that's it for this month. And as always, for the latest news and updates from Tiger Police, be sure to connect with us on whatever social platform you use.